Hey everybody, it's Ariel Flair, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we got through Rock Tunnel in like the longest time period ever. And in this episode, we are going to fight the trainers outside of Rock Tunnel from Lavender Time. So, I'm feeling a bit faint from this tough hike. You and me both, sister. Okay, you're gonna summon out a Pidgey, and I'm gonna summon out an Ivysaur. What? No, I totally didn't just go to the next town over and heal my Pokemon and come back here. What do you mean? My Pokemon were always this, were always that HP level. I'm a responsible trainer. Okay. You're down. Oh wow, we're gonna fight a Pidgeotto for once. Well, from the enemy's team, I guess. He didn't even get to use Quick Attack. I'm not up to it. Don't blame me. That was like, don't blame your Pokemon for that. That's kind of harsh. Uh, yeah, War Turtle's a little high level. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Or is it ha, 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 or something like that? Oh, uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, I'm glad Bulbasaur is out or Ivysaur. Okay, good. Okay, now you're level 27. Onyx? You know, uh, Clefairy? You have Water Gun, why not? Uh, yeah, Water Gun. Ooh, Rock Throw. Perfect! Ha <laughs> ha Not laughing. Hey hey, fever! Ha <laughs> ha chew! Ew, get away from me! Well, fairy, uh, you should come out. Ah, this mountain air is delicious! Yeah, I heard mountain air is supposed to be extremely fresh from like the city and uh, communal life that I live. Oh well. I don't know if this is true, but I was always told that the air tastes different, too. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm sorry there's a loud motorcycle outside. Uh, Graveler. Okay, that's fine. Um... Okay, you're good. Another car, whatever. Go on, it's not like I'm not recording or anything. You can go on. Hey kid, wanna see my Pokemon? I mean, you just threw it at me, so why not? Cubone! I always thought Bone Club was introduced when Lucario was. It's like, I don't remember ever seeing Bone Rush ever. Slowpoke. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll stay. Why not? Slap the beautiful. Oh, it kind of looks like he's. I shouldn't even. Uh, it really does look like she's slapping Slowpoke's. Ugh. <laughs> That, do uh, that really doesn't look okay. Oh man, that re- uh. That is the most unsettling thing ever now. Oh, come on. Slap his high- I- uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm not even gonna finish that sentence.
Oh no, my Pokemon! Alright everyone, get ready to write your creepypastas, because we are here in Lavender Town! Yeah, the song that almost every, I think it was like, made the Japanese kids go nuts and do stupid things. Anyways, this little girl here. Do you believe in ghosts? If you say yes, really? So there are believers. If you say no to her, haha, <laughs> I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder is not real. That is a reference to one of the ghosts that used to be in this version. It actually was a white hand. It's kind of creepy. This town is known for its graveside of po for its graveside of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. Ghosts appear in Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon that the rockets killed. Or just died of old age, whatever. Anyways. Let's just heal our Pokemon. And we're gonna deposit Butterfree, because we don't need her anymore. Or him. I don't know, am I Ash Ketchum? Is it a boy? Who's to say? I don't, I th yeah, gender was introduced in Gen 2. What do you have to say? I saw Cubone's mother die. Tr oh my god! That's okay. Goodbye, Butterfree. Again. Uh, let me actually deposit some. That TM. Yeah, I might really need it. Also, take the ether. And yeah, why not? Just take the max potion too. Whatever. All right. Uh, there should be a Pokemon Mart here. Yeah, there it is. Let's actually buy supplies this time. Hi there, may I help you? Uh, oh, wow, okay. Revise! Wow, um, how many can I get? Definitely not that much. I'll just get ten. You have escape ropes. I don't want repel. I guess I should get, like, five of each. Eh, Ice Heal... Yeah, why not? I'll kill myself later if I don't get this. Okay, there we go. Now, um... We, like, okay. I'm gonna touch this subject right now. If you are playing Fire Red and Leaf Green with me, there is no issue like the one that you are going to deal with people who are playing red, blue, or yellow like I am. If you go in here... Oh yeah, Pikachu a special, uh, uh, bleh, has a special box for this. If you talk to him in Pokemon Tower... He's scared! Alright, I won't brush up too much on this. But what I really want to show is this. Are you guys ready? Because I sure ain't. Now, look at him. Look at him, he's right there. Hey, Ariel, what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can't at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. In red and blue, Rata the Rattata he had now is dead. He has a Pidgeotto level 25 with the moves Gust, Sand Attack, and Quick Attack, and a Kadabra level 20 with the moves Teleport, Confusion, and Disable. If Bulbasaur is chosen, he will have a Charmeleon level 25 with the moves Tackle, Growl, Leer, and Ember. And if not, he will have a Growlithe level 23 with the moves Bite, Roar, and Ember. If he chose Charmander, he will have War Turtle level 25 with the moves Tail Whip, Bubble, Water Gun, and Bite. And if not, uh, he will have a Gyarados with the moves Thrash, Bite, and Tackle. And also, for some weird reason, Growlithe is level 22 in this one. If you chose Squirtle, he will have an Ivysaur level 25 with the moves Leech, Growl, Leech Seed, Vine Whip, and Poison Powder, and if not, an ex Execute with uh, level 23 with Barrage and Hypnosis. 
Now, the one that I get is a Fero Max HP 65, attack 90, defense 65, speed 100, and special 61. The evolved form of Spiro and still a great option if you want a flying type. If you really want its drill pet, if you really want the, I can't say it. What you really want from a Fero is its drill pet move, which it learns level 34, and that thing is pretty much solid. Mirror move. I think he has more attack than the Spiro. We're both level 25. Oh, come on. Is that why I'm doing so little attack? Is because he growled me? Oh, come on. Stop it! Thank you. Man, you're so annoying, Jared. Okay, so this is actually extremely important. I'm gonna see what Pokemon he chose. So ready? Okay, this is the important part. I have my notes right here. I will explain this again. If you uh, so like this is the Vaporeon path. If you won your rival, uh, if you won both of your rival battles and Route Two, he will get a Jolteon. Actually, what am I talking? This isn't the this isn't the Vaporeon path. Like the Vaporeon path. I will explain again, if you win both battles of the of uh, your tribal battle with Oak Slab and Route 22, you'll get a Jolteon. If you lose one of the tomb battles, or just skip one of them and you get the, you know, the Oak battle, that's okay, he gets a Flareon. And if you lose and pass up the second battle, he gets a Vaporeon. I didn't choose the Vaporeon path. So, he has a Shelter, level 23. And... I'm actually going to change to... Ivysaur. He will have a Shelter if you went my path, level 23. And if you went for the Flare Arm path, he will have a level 22 uh, Shelter. With the moves Tackle, Withdrawal, Supersonic, and Clamp. I'll go over which one he had. Like, we'll go over which one like they all get. So... If you chose the Flareon path, it's just like all the EV like all the evolutions don't evolve yet, they all stay as Eevee for now. But for me, since I chose the Jolteon path, I will have a Vulpix level 22. If you chose a Porion's path, his Vulpix will be level 23. With the moves Ember, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Roar. Wait a minute, that's a new Pokemon! What am I doing? I'm so out of this. Wow. Oh wait, did I already- Yeah, I already spoke over Vulpix. I'm very dumb, as you can clearly tell. Okay, um... Need this water gun again. I keep forgetting these Pokemon. Like, this is what happens when I don't record for, like, a long while. All right, now the second. Actually, you know what? I'll just go over when he summons out his EV. What did he summon out? Uh, I don't know what he summoned out. Pidgeotto fought. Wordtle fought. Did the fairy fight yet? Oh yeah, he summoned out Sandshrew. Okay, I'm done. He will have a Sandshrew level 20 with the Scratch, 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 Sand Attack, and Slash. All right. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm still congested. Yes, I am. Okay. Now, I chose the Jolteon path. So, that means his Eevee is going to evolve into a Jolteon. He doesn't have an electric type because that's exactly what he's going to be getting. If you chose the Flareon path or the Vaporeon path, he will have a Magnemite. Level 23 for the Flareon path, and level 22 for the Vaporeon path, with the moves Tackle and Sonic Boom. Okay. It's actually really complex and really cool that you can alter what evolution he gets. 
And frankly, I really wanted a challenge. Oh wow, he's a potion. I wanted to challenge so I chose one of the best Pokemon. They, uh, Jolteon's actually really amazing. For Vaporeon is as well. It's just I just didn't want to lose the two battles to be honest. If you want an easy time, just win Oak's Lab battle and then just just skip the Route 22 battle. All right, Jared. What you stinker! I took it easy on you too. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there will there, there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. Yeah, I won't understand how he caught a Cubone in here. But I will show this right now. You don't run into Pokemon here, but this lady tells you. Even we can identify the wayward ghosts. A silk scope might be able to unmask them. Alright. So, if you enter in here in Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow, and you run around... It will just be a ghost. Darn, the ghost can't be ID'd. Now, the horrifying part about this is... Pidgeotto's too scared to move. The ghost says, get out, get out. I am not kidding you, that's all it says. So there's no way for me to actually battle these people, and there's no way for me to actually, you know, do see any kind of Pokemon in this. So, if you're playing Fire Red and Leaf Green, you can go on ahead, but you will be required to do what I'm doing later on. Which is why I suggest just doing the rival battle and just getting on your way. Now then. Um... Yeah, the name word is in this house, right? No, not no, that's them. I hate those horrible rockets. That poor Cubone's mother. It was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. Oh god. This is the name Raider's house. Actually, no, that might be the name Raider's house. Hello, hello. I'm yeah. It's okay. It is me. It, it is the sun. No. Okay. Now I'm not gonna go down this path anytime soon. I mainly want to save that for when we have to do something later. Now then. If we go forward here, actually... Uh, do I need healing? I'm going to kill myself later probably, but now I think we're safe. Alright, I'm just going to let Pidgeotto go. Because there's a last here. She probably has a grass type. What's a cute round of fluffy Pokemon? Oh, what a cute round. I was like, you're calling me round? That's... I'm not fat! <laughs> oh, okay. Clefairy. Yeah, you are pretty cute and round. I'd love to have a pillow. Actually, what I really want is that doll that Lily has in the Sun and Moon anime. It's so cute. I would love to have a Clefairy doll. I'm kind of a nerd for stuffed animals. Yeah, being a male and loving stuffed animals, everyone gives you a lot of looks. Another Clefairy? Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Let's go. Quick attack. Oh, shoot. Okay. Good thing I- actually, I probably should just, like... Don't be so mean to my Clefairy! You're the one that threw it to me in Battle Woman! I'll be right back. Okay, returning back to the path. If we go over here, we will see an old man! I am a rambling, gambling dude. And I'm pretty sure I just slurred my words. I have a really bad habit of slurring my words. Ralph. Uh, are, is Pidgeotto okay? I like chicken, but... Like, uh... Oh, that was a Oh, yeah, I think you're safe. Growlithe is still pretty cute, though. I'd like a plush of him, too. 
Oh no! Oh, okay. Never mind. I haven't even taken a single hit. Progress. Bullpix. Oh, uh, yeah, you're safe. Um, level 24? Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Wait, Volpix can learn Roar? What the heck? That's... I... Huh. I've never known that. Wow. Oh well. Missed the big score. Yes, you did, challenging me. What were you thinking? Now, if you want... If you want to catch a Growlithe or a Vulpix or any other Pokemon that we've previously seen, that patch of grass right there, you need to use Cut to get to it. But as you can clearly see, I don't really need it, nor do I want it right now because I'm not interested in going to get a Paris to catch it. So I'll catch it off screen, don't worry. You need strategy to win the- at <coughs> You need strategy to win at least this. Or at this, I don't freaking know. Grimer! Oh, okay. Would I want to plushie a Grimer? What exactly would it look like? Hmm. You know what I really want? I want that Snorlax beanbag chair, but I know it costs like $600. I might make it myself, honestly. I can make one, it's not really that hard. Muck. Uh, I think we have a... Did we see a Muck before? I'm so confused. Hold on. Uh, nope, we haven't seen a Muck. I was really confused for a second. I don't know why. Anyways, Muck! Max HP 105, attack 105, defense 75, speed 50, and a special of 65. In all honesty, it's actually a pretty good Pokemon. The only issue is, I prefer uh, Coughing's final evolution because poison types are weak as Psychic and Ground, and actually, wait, what am I talking about? Abilities never existed, but. Still, though, I'm all for Coughing. I don't really like, I like Muck. I just prefer Coughing's evolution better. Don't get me wrong, I've used Muck before and it saved my life sometimes. But I just, eh. Oh, shoot. Okay. Just double. Just double slap slime, please. Alright! Clefairy is close to evolving. Well, close to the level I want it to evolve at, I should say. Um, I think we're all good. Do I want to... Actually, I don't... Pikachu, let's go. You haven't really battled at all. Man, that really just just sounds like like a thunderstorm. They really should have called this lightning bolt because you can't see thunder; you can only hear it. It's not logical. Uh, I'm just thinking of uh, what's it called? Star Trek? Oh shoot! Oh no! Oh god, okay. You know what? We're doing this. We are doing this. Pikachu, come on out. Let's go. Let's go. You can do this. Let's go! I like the internet, so I'm collecting them. You're doing this, Pikachu! How you haven't evolved it yet is beyond me. Man, I really love Thunderbolts. Oh, come on! At least I got an antidote for once. Uh, need arena. Okay, that's fine. Still looks prissy, but whatever. Oh, wow! Okay, we good. 
Why? Why? Because you only have two Pokemon and you're not treating them right. Actually, I should heal Pikachu, like, right now. Look at that! I actually am being responsible with Pokemon! School's fun, but so are Pokemon. Eh, it depends on which school you go to. I was a bullied child. Coffee! Oh wow! Paralyzed! See, now, I actually have like a question for all of you guys watching. How exactly do you deal with paralysis? I always like to uh, have like a move that causes paralysis, but I know so many people that just take the chance with the moves that they have to cause paralysis. I, like, it, it's like moves like Pikachu, with Pikachu, I always keep Thunder Wave on. Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. Whatever you say, furry. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's like, not really furry, I guess it's Neko play? I don't know. Don't look that up, please. But it, it's just like, I, always, I don't like leaving the chance to paralyze with move for moves like Thunderbolt and like, and like Thundershock. I just feel safer if I have like Thunder, like Thunder Wave, because it just gets it done in one go. I get it that you want to attack your, like, the, the, the opponent, but it's just, ugh, I feel safer. Because what if it doesn't, then you're stuck. Come on, are you, do you just have a bunch of meow? That's kind of weird, you just have a bunch of meow? Meow. You do have a bunch of meow. Oh! She said three meows because she has a meow. I get it, okay. Alright. Thanks for airplane. Meow. But she lost. All right, we have one more left. Actually, I want Pikachu. See, like, Pikachu has just been taking care of the ball. No! The biggest waste. Ugh, the biggest waste ever. We must look silly standing here like this. Yes, you do. Oh, wow. Oh, you just have a bunch of Pidgeys, I think. I think you just have a bunch of Pidgeys. Oh, no, it's just a bunch of normal types. What? I have been having so much fun with Thunderbolt, I didn't even notice the PP. Wow. Wow. Need around. Oh, it's just a. Oh! You have like a collection of every Pokemon, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, double kick. Only five damage? Why does that surprise me? Uh oh. Please don't poison. Okay, Pikachu, you're doing a good job. Meow. Okay. Oh, shoot, bite. Oh, you're good. You're safe. Payday! Thanks for more money, though. I do have to say that. Oh, yeah, need to run mail. That's like the one Pokemon they don't have, I guess. I'm Pidgey. I'm pretty sure Pidgey, too. Oh, wow, critical hit. Please don't poison!
Alright. Look what you did! Yeah, I beat you. Alright. In the next episode, we will continue on this path and see what else lies in store for us. See you guys next time!